viewers, how are you? How are you? I think you're fine. So at today's video, we're going to see a completely different topic. And its name is study access. So at the study access topic, we are going to see what are the three laws of motion. So for the Newton's laws of motion, I have made a web page in Microsoft Word. So now I'm going to explain Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law. The first part of Newton's first law says that an object at rest will remain at rest until force acts upon it. If you can take an example that, uh, that this keyboard is not moving when I keep it because it does it. But when I push it, it's moving. And this explanation is an object that rests which reminds us until force acts upon it. This, now, this object is at rest. Now, if you want to move, you have to, uh, the force needs to act upon it. Now, it's moving. And another thing. If an object is moving, we will need force to stop it. So that's Newton's first law. And this is the image like Newton's first law of motion. An object of stress will remind us until force act upon it. But as this, but for a football, an object of stress will remind us stress until a net force acts upon it. If you can see. When when a football is uh, at the place, it can't go by itself. You have to kick it. The more the energy, the more it will go. And to stop it, someone in the axle force. If you keep a leg like this, it will stop. Or if it goes to the goal, it will stop. And now we are going to see another example image for Newton's first law. So, these are the images for Newton's first law of motion. See, even riding a bicycle is example for it. If you want to take, and if you think this is a bicycle, first it's reminding at just here. And now, if you want to ride it, I need to have to force upon it. That means I need to remove the pedal and I need to remove the pedal and I have to start pedaling it. When we start pedaling it, we, uh, the cycle will move and uh, and if you need to stop, there's, uh, there should be a force to act upon it. Now it's moving like this. But to stop it, we would need the force to act upon it like this. Now first, it's had now first just press and started pedaling. It's moving. Now I'm stopping because of the brake. So this is Newton's first law of motion. And that's another pair of telling it. The object in motion will continue in motion at the same speed and in same direction until the force acts upon it. This suits to the bicycle. So Let's and uh, and the, the Newton's first law for also has another word for the the uh, object that just will remind us until the force acts upon it and the, the object in motion will continue in motion at the same speed and the same direction until the force acts upon it. We all tell it as inertia. Whether an object is at the rest or whether an object is at rest or at motion, we will call it inertia. This is inertia and this is inertia. So, this is Newton's first law of motion. Now, let's go to 
Newton second law of motion. Newton second law of motion explains that an object's motion depends on its mass and the amount of force being used against the mass. If you want to take an example, first you get the motion. If you want to take an example, this man is trying to uh, uh, trying to move this four hundred kg. 400 kg square or the square 400 kg rock but it's not easy because it has more mass so we need more force and energy to move it like if you want to move in a very very big rock like the size of this room we would need more items we uh, women can't lift and rock this size and if it's like low kg like 10 kg rock we can easily move it and there are some more example images Newton second law And the example is like this, and uh, this, 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 this. You can take this. That uh, rock is uh, is like fifty kg. A human, a single human can't uh, move it. So. They're using a uh, heavy weighted animal to move it so it can move it and the next type is uh, uh, speed is a measure of how much distance is traveled in a particular amount of time the faster an object is moving the more force is needed to stop it the more force is needed to stop it so, uh, you can take an example as a train. The train is telling like when the train, uh, the train is heavy mass, and by it's moving fast, you will need more force to stop it. So, train is an example for Newton's second law of motion, and this says this train has a large motion, high speed, so it has lot of momentum. It would take a very strong force to slow or stop this train. So what by velocity describes an object's speed in a certain direction. Scientists calculate momentum by using this formula. Mass into velocity is momentum. So let's go to Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion says that for every force and action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Think of the forces in bed. Uh, when you push or pull on an object, the object sends an equal push or pull on you in the opposite direction. So this is Newton's third law of motion. And the other example is, we can see it. So you can take this or this. If you want to take an, if you want an ex, uh, an picture for the, or an uh, experiment for the Newton's third law of motion, you could take a balloon, and when you can uh, ask how the balloon flies, it is because of Newton's third law of motion. When the balloon flies. The is the air pushes down, so it's the A point. A point to point towards down, and B point point towards the the up. So when the air is coming down, it will go up, and the same amount of force. It's an opposite reaction, an opposite reaction will occur and will go up because of the Newton's third, uh, third law of motion. It occurs in rockets, missile, or anything that flies or moves. 
You can even take a soccer ball as an explanation for it. So. Think of the first in fact. When we push or pull an object, the object sends an equal push or pull on in the opposite direction. So this is the example. Or we can take another example like when you are lifting the giant kg box, the you are lifting like this. The same amount of force is up there and here. And here and here. So if the box is so the box is in a square side. So the box is in a square, uh, square side. And if you want to move it, the nine kg is here. And second nine kg is here. Third nine kg is here. And the fourth nine kg is here. So thank you viewers for watching this video. I hope you understand what is Newton's three laws of motion. Thank you. Have a nice day.